What's up? I'm your girl Shayna Mena and we're back on the Mouth of the South with your girl Shayna Mena. Today I'm sitting here next to Jossie. Oh yeah, big wow. Big Jossie out here from Augusta. What's up? How are you today? Shit, I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. So tell me about who you are. Well, I'm Jossie. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I'm a music artist from the, from the South Side area. Close by East Augusta, South Augusta, you know. From the Southside area. Southside? Yeah. <laughs> Dogwood Terrace Apartments. Okay. That's where I'm from. Dogwood Terrace. Okay. So what made you inspired in doing music? Like, what was that spark in your life that said, I'm going to do it? I don't know. I always liked music. When I was like 12, I used to just take a little notebook. I used to skim and make little stuff. But I ain't make music back then. And I didn't think about it way back then. I just used to play around. And I used to be like, okay, I kind of like music. But I ain't never messed with it. So, I mean, I just chilled. I started going, getting into other stuff, but when I figured out, like when I got a certain age, I want to turn about 19, 20, I was like, I might try to make music because I got a lot of stuff to talk about and I like music. So that's what made me do it. I always had a passion for it. I used to play around and freestyle, but I ain't never take it serious. And like, really recent, in the recent years, I ain't take it serious then. I just used to go record then. And like hearing a little local hype from my friends and stuff like that, good feedback. I used to be like, okay. So I just keep doing it because, you know what I mean? But so I are you serious now? Yeah, doing I want to make it a career okay. type stuff. Yeah. So what's your motivation in your music to keep you going? Like, what do you, why do you make music? Mainly when I see people and they tell me to keep going or people hit me up every day on social media and they tell me to keep going. Or, I like your music. I like this song. Or they share something and they give me good feedback. And that, that's, that's what really keep me going. And I like doing it. I love making music. So by me liking doing it and people telling me keep doing it, it's going to make me keep doing it. Plus when I know like how I can really pay off one day, how you could live off of this, how I can help you and your kids, your family, you know, stuff like that. I want to make it's real money into it, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be like thinking like that. So what's one of your favorite songs off the project that you've worked on? Like? Off the project I worked on, I don't really got none of my favorite. My favorite songs be like the songs Probably every time I make something new. Something new is your favorite. <laughs> Why? Because it be a different vibe. It would be good. It be better. Well, every time it just be better. And I just like my music. I ain't release it. So let's talk about the song that you just dropped yesterday. How was that? You heard it, Clint. So I didn't hear it. <laughs> well, without that song, though, you ain't even hear that song. That, that was like two weeks ago, but I ain't dropped that either. The song that I listened to? Just now, yeah. Oh, Kaki? Yeah, put that in. Yeah, that, nah, Kaki, okay. Well, Kaki, <laughs> Kaki, cool. I like Kaki. Is that about 200,000 on Apple Music right now? Just keep screaming it, y'all keep, you know what I mean? Keep showing love. And YouTube's about 35,000. It's doing a little something. It's going on. Spotify, that going on. But yeah, it's doing a little song. They like it. And I want to shoot a real video to it soon. But I'm shooting a video next weekend to one of my songs called No Love. So y'all be on the look, look out for that. That's the one you dropped last night? No. Is um, it? Oh, Wednesday night. It was Wednesday. Wednesday night. Yeah. Wednesday night. Okay. But I ain't dropping it yet. You heard a little bit of it, probably. Okay. So what what came about with you making that song? Like, I was thinking something happened. I don't want to talk about it, but something happened. I was like, okay, damn. I just always, I just thought about how, damn, I don't get no love. Like, I get tough love, I don't get no good luck. Everything be hard work that I made. I don't get no handouts or nothing. So I call it no love. And that's why I call the song that. Okay. Um, I was pissed off when I made it. Why you was pissed? Let's talk about that. You can't be pissed making music <laughs> now because he got some good music, y'all. And he's very versatile. So do you make good music when you're more mad and angry in your feelings yes. or when you happy? Yes, I do. When I'm mad, angry, and in my feelings, that's when I make my best music. Why is that? I, just, I don't know. It's just like as I'm letting it all out, my frustration's at. So it's very authentic when I made that type of music. It's very authentic. So let's talk about the song that you made piss. Let's talk about that. What made you, not saying what made you piss, but. No love. Oh, a heartbreak? No love, yeah, heartbreak. Oh. Y'all yeah, can't be breaking their hearts now. Nah. You better say, girls, they better not be breaking your hearts because that's not what we trying to do. Like, they think y'all ain't got no heart, but is that true? Is it true that guys ain't got no heart? 
sure every dude can have a heart for the right female. I know that for a fact. So y'all females need to get right so he could. But that don't mean they gonna do right by the female or the female gonna do right by them. So, so. there's pros and cons in every situation like that. So do you use that, um, that like thinking to put into your songs to make these females fall for you? Because you know, <laughs> they listening to your music. <laughs> so tell me about that. Like, do you put love in your music or is it yeah. like? I listen to I, I listen to it. I'm be like, well, what? But the girl, female like this. Would they like to listen to this? Can they ride and listen to this? So I put my own style into making it like that. Okay. I was just good me. What's something that keeps you motivated? Like, is it a person? Is it? My kids. Your kids. I got four kids. You know, we talked about how I got four kids. I got two boys, two daughters. Nature, Jackson, Jason, Taylor. So I got four, four kids. So they keep me motivated. What's the legacy you leaving behind? One of my sons, my, son, my bad. One of my sons, he, he be singing my song, though. He's rapping one of them. And I'll be like, okay, then. Then the other one, when I play a certain one, he just be turned up. I get lost his mind. And I'm like, he only threw you. What is he doing? <laughs> That's your biggest fan right there. <laughs> he be rapping all the parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kids be keeping you on your toes and be like, okay, if they mess with it, I know I can make it. Yeah. yeah, that's that's your biggest motivation right there. So what's like, what would you tell your younger self or your kids like from 10 years from now? My younger self, I would tell myself to focus more on myself. I don't think I did a lot of that at certain points. At certain points I got discredited and I got behind on what I was supposed to be focused on a lot of time. But I mean, I'm gonna keep going though, you know what I mean? I can't let that stop me. I mean, yeah. And as artists, we always get distracted. We always get, you know, I don't know. We lose focus and feel like that's the end of the road. But, you know, I'm glad you got yourself together because you said you wasn't into music. So let's talk about that. You said you didn't want to be a rapper, but now you are a rapper. So how did that transformation come about? God. 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 I feel like God want me to rap. Sometimes it might sound crazy. I swear it might sound. I feel like you want me to make music, no yeah. matter how big it ever get. I feel like you want me to just make music till I'm done. I feel like I'm happy making music because when I'm making music, I'm happy. I'm almost more happy than anything when I'm doing that. No, other than being with my little ones, spending time with them. So God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So how do you touch everybody live? out here in Augusta because it's too hot outside and these Augusta people is going crazy so how do you feel like you could like impact other people's lives with your music through your music by saying if it get me as far as I wanted to go then it definitely can impact a lot of people's lives especially that come from where I come from they can be like oh if he can do it I can do it or oh, if he can do it and that made them focus on that whether they make it or not it, can, it could be something to keep them out of the way you know what I mean? Because they be like, oh, I got this going on. I can't jeopardize this. So I'm going to make this decision. When you ain't got nothing going on and then you focus on, you're going to make bad decisions. Period. You know what I mean? So you always got to have something you focused on. Whether it pay fully, fully pay off or not, you got to be focused out here. Yeah. yeah. So how did you turn your pain back then, you know, growing up to like now? Like what? I got a lot of stuff to talk about now. You got a lot of stuff to talk about? Yeah, I've been through it all. Yeah. The way I grew up is the reason I make music. If I ain't grow up going through certain things, I won't have nothing to talk about. I feel like if I didn't see certain stuff, I wouldn't have nothing to talk about. Yeah. So it's kind of a good thing I went through certain stuff. It made me stronger, tougher, and more durable. Okay. So what can we expect in the near future? You got some videos coming out next weekend? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm shooting a video next weekend. See, I'll be tapping in with me now. Make sure you tell them where to follow you. Shane Amanda, follow with Grace. Shane Amanda, too, now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shane <Crazy>. Amanda. <laughs> where can they follow you, Jossie? I'm sorry. He gonna be my butt if I keep saying Jossie. It's Jossie. <laughs> Jossie. She been doing it. <laughs> tell them where to follow you. It's, it's all right. It's all right. They can follow me at internet underscore. 
M O B underscore Jassy J A C E E on Instagram. And you can type in J A C E E N or and you can find me. Any like secret albums, mixtape songs you dropping anytime soon? We can't talk about it. Mm mm. That's not fair. Mm mm. Can't talk about nothing. Okay, so what what's what's the purpose of some of your songs? Like, cause he's very versatile. So when you're rapping with your guys, what's your message? And then for your girls, what's your message? Other than them breaking your heart, but, you know. I'm breaking but, my heart. My heart. <laughs> so cold hearted, that man. Gotta be. So what's the what's the two different messages <laughs> that you you got in your song? Since we can't talk about no more songs. Oh, we can. I'm I'm, I'm serious. I should okay. drop a project in about three months. I just can't say too much about it. Okay. Know? So, quick question. Um, if there was a younger person to come up to you and be like, "How? what does it take to be a rapper? What advice would you give them? Hard work, dedication. Be yourself. Hard work, dedication. Be yourself. Consistency. What about your mindset of the, the industry of a whole? The business, the entertainment? Is there something that you've learned from the beginning to where read, you are now? Read everything. Read everything. You know, just read everything you sign. If you ever sign something, read it. And get somebody else to read it that's smarter than you. Are you independent or are you signed? Kind of like both in between. Okay. Which one do you like the best? I think it's better if you be independent. You just stay independent. Yeah. And like if you see 100% of your money then you good period yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so is there any type of collaboration 100% better than 70% yeah 40% is just better yeah if you can do it yourself and this might take a little longer but it to pay off in the longer run you know what I'm saying yeah instead of trying to work with this and then that don't work and play catch up you know what I mean what's your plans in the next five to seven years five to seven years from now I want to own stuff outside of music. I want to have been seen a certain amount of money to where I can own like certain businesses so my money can work for me. The goal really is to not punch a clock and work hard for somebody else. I don't want to do that. I did that long enough. My hands still messed up from working for somebody. I worked for somebody a while ago, a minute ago. Three years, look at my hands still. Yeah. Three and a half years from working at a, a certain type of job. So it's like, uh, I ain't trying to really work. I mean, uh, you get more time. You get to take a trip whenever you want to. More, as long as you got financial freedom, that's the goal. Yeah. And you, you got enough for your kids put up, and they can live a good life. That's the goal. I own the stuff you have. Good credit. Simple life. You don't have to be rich. You know what I mean? Just be good and have a good little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The pass down. That's the goal right there. <laughs> That is down generational wealth. Generational wealth. That is the goal. That's generational wealth. Insurance, life insurance, all that. Smart. Think smart now. Yeah. <laughs> That's the. Yeah, LCs and many more things. Yeah. The main thing is investing in yourself. Like, once you invest in yourself, that's all that matters. So, who do you personally look up to that keeps you grounded, keeps you head focused, head set to be like, listen, you better keep going? Cause this is all you got, and and not steer you any type of wrong direction in this world. Well, I gotta admit, yeah, I guess you could say that. I got friends like that. I got two friends. I got a partner, homeboy. That. I got a homeboy and his sister. They keep me real level headed and grounded. They tell me what I need to do, what I don't need to do. They help me as far as business or the music. Teach me stuff I didn't know, don't know. And they tell me, like, keep going and stay out of the way. Nah, don't do this, don't do that. Like, legally, legally, stuff like that, you know what I mean? And that's what helped me stay level-headed, because they know a lot. What's the hardest lesson you had to learn in the music industry? The hardest lesson? I ain't had no hard lesson yet. No hard lesson. What was something that... What was that one opportunity that just changed your life and was like, dang, like, I could keep going, like, I'm, I'm doing good. Like, what was that moment for you? 
I made it seen a certain amount of money one time. Uh, for something. Yeah. So you started back rapping this year? Yeah, no, no, like two years ago. Okay. Two, three years ago, I dropped my first mixtape. About three years ago. That's what I really, yeah. I dropped my first mixtape, Jossie Simpson. And I, yeah, that's what I went. And I seen a certain amount of one time, and I was like, okay. And that's what I did it. Finding the views and performance and stuff like that? Yeah, it's green. You like performing? Yeah, I love it. I love music. Like, I love performing all that. I'm gonna be honest, I love it. I told you, there's no better feeling than me. <laughs> there's a club called Battleship. Anyone in you like the biggest show. There's a club called Battleship Lounge in Atlanta. And they just showed me so much love that night. I don't know, man. They showed me a lot of love. Like, I ain't getting nowhere else like that. Then they showed me, like, there's a lot of people fucking with me afterwards. Yeah. Walking up to them, like, boom, boom, boom. Man, that, that was the best one right there. Atlanta. Atlanta yeah. show much love better than Augusta. Columbia, South Carolina, dude. <laughs> Outside South Carolina, of your dude. city, they show you so much love. And it's like, why? Don't love me here? Cool. Be somebody better somewhere else. So what do you like best, Columbia or Atlanta? Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. That's the best, that's the best place really to be. As far as what I got going on. From Augusta, that's two hours away. Yeah. We go there. And all these people here, this person, that person, all these different corporations and businesses, that's what's best. It might be, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it might be God. I'm right by my family. I ain't too far. That might be God telling me something down the line. What do you want to be remembered for? I remember being a bad motherfucker. You bad? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. What makes you bad? Not like that. I'm just oh. saying like a, a bad motherfucker all around. A good dad, a good man, a good what? Oh, in tune with God. Yeah. Beat the odds. I want to be a bad motherfucker. Like LeBron James was. He's a bad motherfucker. He's a good family man. Nah. I want, that's, that's somebody I idolize. He don't know his real father. I don't know my real father. My mama don't know my real father. She had her issues. I come from drug abuse and all that. So it's like... I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm gonna beat the odds. I'm supposed to be dead in jail right now. I got a brother like locked up right now. I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got homeboys dead and stuff, died in front of their mom. Like, stuff like that. Deep stuff. So I'm trying to beat the odds. I'm gonna be remembered for being a bad motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can follow me on Instagram at NNN underscore M O B underscore J A C E E. On Facebook, you can type in J A C E E. Twitter, same thing, J A C E, you can find me. Well, it's just like Jossie. It's follow Shana, man. She's just gonna smile for y'all. <laughs> That's all she gotta do. That's it. <laughs> smile. <laughs> Thank you again for coming on the show. Thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you. You're welcome. See y'all next time. Bye.